What's up guys? This is Raymond Ironbody McKinney and today I wanted to talk about on this video what the what my perspective is on this this claim or er, that we are gods. Now if you hear people like I've said I think I said I'm as someone messaged me saying something like Raymond what what convinces you that you are God? Um, now, I wanted to clarify, and I wanted to explain that a little bit deeper, and what I really think of that, what that means from my perspective. When I say something like, I am God, that doesn't mean I'm better than anyone else. It's like, I'm sure a lot of people, if, if, if a lot of people hear it, like, it's just so inconceivable to comprehend. Um, a lot of people would say, that's blasphemy, arrogance. But for me, from my perspective, that's not what it really means. What I see it as, the I am God, like in the in the Bible, it even talks about ye are gods of the Most High or something like that. And I, I don't really like to. I don't. I don't resonate with the Bible on everything, but yeah, there's something that's like if you understand it in symbolic terms, it's pretty freaking amazing. And I'm sure there's a lot of misinterpretation in the Bible. That's that's why it's triggers people. People question God or something. And look, to me, God is not this overarching man in the sky or something with a try it in or whatever it's um i look at it as just pure energy that god is just pure energy or consciousness or pure this invisible pure energy that activates everything that we see because think about it everything that we see that appears physical it's just compressed energy just every even max planck the one of the famous german physicists Devote his whole life is science and saying there is no physical matter as such because everything is compressed energy and appears physical but really it's just all pure energy. Now, if you just, people are just saying, well, we're just energy and that's all there is to it. Well, Albert Einstein did say that, but... Um, so yeah, just to understand these, I I kind of like to take this this I am God approach from more of a um, a, uh, a scientific viewpoint because I'm very I like to think kind of analytically more than oh woo woo magic all that stuff. Now look, some of this stuff I can't explain how deep this power of God, nature, whatever you want to call it. And so really when it comes to something I just can't comprehend, I would just call it, it's magic, miracles, whatever. But there's an underlying subtle principle that's in play. If you ever heard of the double slit experiment where it's like scientists take a, a particle of a photon and hit it on a, I guess, some sort of barrier with two slits in between, or side by side, and then it tries to hit the barrier. They expected it to hit. But um, I was watching one of Greg, a scientist by the name of Greg Braden, where he demonstrated, he showed that video to an audience where the scientists predicted it would, I guess, bounce back or something, but they did not, it actually disappeared. And on the other side of those slits, 
it hit another barrier in forms of waves. So, even though that's probably one of the um, experiments that kind of proves all this quantum weirdness or um, supernatural, whatever, I don't know. Even if this, even if this information I'm discussing with you doesn't resonate, res resonate with you, that's all right. This video is not for you. Take it or leave it. But I'm, I pay attention to the, these subtle signs, these subtle things, and that's kind of how my perspective works. But yeah, I love, I love the idea of that we are gods. In the sense that I like to look at it as like our ego or our analytical conscious mind selects the this God source, which is this the subconscious mind, this the deeper part of the subconscious mind, the tapping into that God source, or what I like to call it for my personal reality, Iron Body iron body I'm tapping into that iron body source that it's also think about God's just a label you can label it whatever you want you can call call it whatever I and my father are one I myself and iron body are one so like people have alter egos too tapping into that alter ego so I think there's some. It's, uh, not everyone's going to agree with this stuff. That's all right. I can't convince you. I can't. I can't impose my ideas on anyone else. You can't learn from me analytically. You cannot fully comprehend what I'm saying unless. But you have to come to terms with yourself to experience this stuff for yourself whether it's a mystical experience or whatever you cannot learn it from a book or studying it today you can study it to the you can study so far but it comes down to the testing of how powerful your mind is so in summary It all comes down to you. What do you... How do you see yourself as in your life? Think of yourself as... I came here for a reason. <clears throat> and I'm going to live that... Live by that... Principle. So... I mean... I don't know where this journey is going to take me. I, like that's the thing with this um, way of living by this faith, li faith based living I have no idea where it's going to take me but I feel it's kind of I feel drawn to it and that deep feeling of being drawn towards something I believe that's God or inner this inner voice just showing you guiding you towards your fulfilled desire so just hold the image in your mind as if you are that person and that inner that inner source will guide you or then or you'll somehow attract the right people in your life so I hope this message helps and resonates with people and that's basically how I see this this whole perspective on how I see the power of God this power of God's source or whatever that what I really think the term I am God really means it's not ego based it's we're all energetically connected there's plenty of science showing that so and yes and I believe spirituality magic or spirituality and science definitely coexist and that comes in the for and you have to experience it you cannot analyze it to death you have to experience it. That's all I can say to you. So I bless you all and happy manifesting.